Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find the values of these type of expressions if alpha and beta are the zeros of a quadratic polynomial. So first to convert these type of expressions in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta because we know that how to find some of its zeros alpha plus beta and alpha beta values if we know the quadratic polynomial uh, because alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a. So we have to convert these expressions in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So the first one is alpha minus beta. For example, if you want to find the value of alpha minus beta, then we know that a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. So a minus b whole square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4ab. Then a minus b is equal to square root of a plus b whole square minus 4ab. So alpha minus beta is equal to square root of alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. Next one is 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta is equal to take the LCM of alpha and beta that is alpha beta here beta minus alpha. So this is equal to again we can calculate beta minus alpha we can write as beta square root of beta plus alpha whole square minus 4 alpha beta because alpha minus beta is equal to square root of alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta. So same like that we can write beta minus alpha is equal to square root of beta plus alpha whole square minus 4 alpha beta by alpha beta. Next one is 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta that is equal to take uh, LCM of alpha and beta that is alpha beta then alpha ones are remaining is beta beta into 1 is beta plus uh, here alpha so beta plus alpha by alpha beta next one is alpha square plus beta square is equal to this is in the form of a square plus b square a square b square terms will come in the identity of a plus b whole square so a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so you have to find a square plus b square so a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab so alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta Next one is 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square is equal to LCM here is alpha square plus uh, sorry alpha square into beta square here in the numerator alpha square ones are alpha square beta square into 1 beta square plus alpha square. So again beta square plus alpha square or alpha square plus beta square we can write as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta because here you can write alpha square plus beta square is equal to this one. So alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta by here alpha square beta square you can write as alpha beta whole square. Next one is square root of alpha by beta plus square root of beta by alpha. That is equal to square root of alpha by square root of beta plus square root of beta by square root of alpha. We know that square root of a by b is equal to square root of a by square root of b. So this is equal to uh, take LCM of here square root of beta and square root of alpha that is square root of beta into square root of alpha then square root of beta once are square root of beta and uh, the remaining is square root of alpha. So square root of alpha into square root of alpha is equal to square root of alpha whole square plus here square root of beta whole square that is equal to here square root of alpha square is equal to alpha plus here square root of beta square is equal to beta whole square is equal to beta so alpha plus beta by here square root of a into square root of b is square root of a b so square root of alpha into beta. Next one is 1 by alpha plus 2 beta plus 1 by beta plus 2 alpha take LCM of these two then you will get beta plus 2 alpha plus alpha plus 2 beta here by alpha plus 2 beta into beta plus 2 alpha. Here beta plus 2 beta is 3 beta plus 2 alpha plus alpha is 3 alpha by multiply alpha with these two terms alpha into beta plus alpha into 2 alpha is 2 alpha square plus 2 beta into beta 2 beta square plus 2 beta into 2 alpha 4 alpha beta that is equal to 3 is common here. So 3 into alpha plus beta by alpha beta plus 4 alpha beta is 5 alpha beta plus 2 is common in these two terms. So 2 into alpha square plus beta square that is equal to 3 into alpha plus beta by 5 alpha beta plus 2 into again alpha square plus beta square I have told just now that is alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So if you multiply 2 with these two terms then 2 into alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 into 2 4 alpha beta then 5 alpha beta minus 4 alpha beta is 
plus alpha beta 3 into alpha plus beta by 2 into alpha plus beta whole square plus alpha beta next one is 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta minus 2 alpha beta that is equal to beta plus alpha here you have to take LCM of these two beta plus alpha by alpha beta minus 2 into alpha beta next one is alpha square beta plus alpha beta square is equal to here alpha beta are common so alpha beta into alpha here alpha plus in this term beta is a so alpha beta into alpha plus beta next one is alpha cube plus beta cube is equal to here a cube plus b cube those terms will come in a plus b whole cube identity so you have to write a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b into a plus b this is the identity so from this identity you want uh, these two terms sum a cube plus b cube so a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b into a plus b so this you can write alpha cube plus beta cube is equal to alpha plus beta whole cube minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta next one is alpha square by beta plus beta square by alpha that is equal to alpha beta into here take lcm then beta once are beta then remaining uh, is alpha so alpha into alpha square is alpha cube similarly uh, beta into beta square is beta cube so alpha cube plus beta cube by alpha beta so again alpha cube plus beta cube you can write as alpha plus beta whole cube minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta by alpha beta this is first example if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial 6x square plus x minus 2 find the value of alpha by beta plus beta by alpha so here the given quadratic polynomial is 6x square plus x minus 2 so a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2 because it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c so sum of its zeros is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a that is equal to here uh, minus b is minus 1 by a is 6 so minus 1 by 6 and product of its zeros is equal to alpha beta is equal to c by a that is equal to c is minus 2 by a is 6 that is equal to 2 ones are 2 3s are 6 so minus 1 by 3 so alpha plus beta is equal to minus 1 by 6 and alpha beta is equal to minus 1 by 3 now you have to find alpha by beta plus beta by alpha we know alpha plus beta and alpha beta values so we have to write this expression in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta so for that you have to take lcm of beta and alpha that is alpha beta here in numerator beta ones are then alpha into alpha alpha square plus beta square we know that alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta by alpha beta that is equal to here alpha plus beta value is minus 1 by 6 so minus 1 by 6 whole square minus 2 into alpha beta is minus 1 by 3 by again alpha beta is minus 1 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 now minus 1 by 6 whole square is 1 by 36 plus here minus into minus plus 2 by 3 into here in the denominator minus 1 by 3 it becomes uh, into minus 3 by 1 uh, in the numerator that is equal to here uh, take LCM of these two 36 and 3 that is 36 and 36 ones are 1 ones are 1 plus 3 12s are 12 2s are 24 into minus 3 by 1 now cancel 3 ones are 3 12s are 36 then 1 plus 24 is 25 here minus so minus 25 by 12 next one is if alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus x minus 2 find the value of 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta so here the given po quadratic polynomial is x square plus x minus 2 so a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2 then alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a that is equal to minus 1 by here minus 1 by 1 that is minus 1 alpha beta is equal to c by a that is minus 2 by 1 that is minus 2 so 1 by alpha minus 1 by beta is equal to beta minus alpha by alpha beta that is equal to square root of beta minus alpha we can write as alpha plus beta whole square or beta plus alpha whole square minus 4 alpha beta by alpha beta that is equal to square root of here alpha plus beta value is minus 1 so minus 1 whole square minus 4 into minus 2 by alpha beta is minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 whole square is 1 plus 
minus 4 into minus 2 is plus 8 by minus 2 that is equal to square root of 9 by minus 2 that is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now please do these practice questions. And here are the answers.